populist coalition takes control in Italy, Eurosceptic government is sworn in after a winning vote of confidence. Italy's controversial Eurosceptic coalition has been officially sworn in as the country's new government after a historic final vote. The alliance between the anti-establishment Five Star Movement and the far-right League won a decisive victory in Italy's Chamber of Deputies, meaning they will now officially take the reins of the Eurozone's third-largest economy. The new government gained the chamber's endorsement with 350 votes in favor, 236 against and 35 abstentions, following Senate approval for Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte's government on Tuesday. After the inauguration, Kant's first assignment will be to represent the floundering country at this week's G7 summit in Canada. In the G7, the first thing for Italy will be to make itself known, the second to make sure that it is respected, Kant said on Wednesday. A lawyer with little political experience, Kant was nominated by Salvini and five-star head Luigi Di Maio, both of whom are now also his deputy prime ministers. In his debut speech to the Italian parliament on Tuesday, the incoming prime minister raised eyebrows by saying he wanted to restore traditionally close relations between Rome and Moscow and push for a review of the EU sanctions. His government's program, which combines radical tax cuts with anti-austerity measures like a basic monthly income for the poorest citizens, has left many Italian and international observers perplexed given the country's huge public debt. Italy is groaning under a 2.3 trillion euro debt which is 132 percent of its gross domestic product, the second highest ratio in the euro zone after Greece. New Interior Minister Matteo Salvini has said the coalition will work to crack down on migration, saying at the weekend that Italy cannot be Europe's refugee camp. He also revealed his desire to open more detention centers for the repatriation of migrants so they aren't strolling about our cities. Salvini capped off an eventful few days by getting into a spat with Italian international footballer Mario Balotelli. In an interview, Balotelli, whose parents are Ghanaian immigrants, lamented that he was not granted Italian citizenship until the age of 18 despite being born and raised in Italy. I'm not a politician, but I think the law should change, he said Tuesday. Taking to Twitter the new interior minister wrote, Dear Mario, you're solely birthright citizenship, is not my priority, nor the priority of the Italians. Regards, and have fun chasing the ball.